Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the PhotoZoom WordPress theme. You will learn how to set up your homepage to look just like the theme demo and I will explain the theme's features and settings. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5 and version 107 of the PhotoZoom theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free PhotoZoom theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for PhotoZoom in the search field, one word, no spaces. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like right after activating the theme. WordPress automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars, but I recommend that you remove all those default widgets. Now let's look at the theme's demo and see what content is displayed on the homepage. After that I will show you how to set up every part of it. In the header we have a website logo and the primary menu. The first section on the homepage is a simple photo slideshow. It serves as a quick and simple portfolio. These photos don't link to any posts or pages. Next comes a widgetized area that works best with a standard text widget. The widget's title uses the h1 HTML tag. Next comes a section that allows you to feature three of your most important pages. These can be portfolio sections, a pricing page, your about page, or something else. Next is yet another widgetized area divided into two columns. Photographers could use this area to say a few more things about themselves. Next comes the blog area, where the recent blog posts are displayed in a free columns layout. And finally the website's footer, which is also divided into three widgetized columns of equal width, each is 300 pixels wide. PhotoZoom's main content area has a one column layout, so there is no sidebar. Now let's look at every section separately and see how to set everything up. To upload a website logo, go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity tab. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, the UI will offer you to crop the image or not. Let's click the Skip Cropping button. The photo zoom theme has a single menu location in the header of the website. I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. To add photos to the homepage slideshow, go to the Customize page and open the header media section. Upload multiple photos and they will be displayed here. Remove the photos that you don't need. The Featured Pages section is set up on the Customize page in the Theme Settings panel. Simply choose three of your existing pages and they will be displayed here. Your pages must have featured images, otherwise thumbnails will not be displayed. As an example, let's create a new page and display it in this section. The widgetized areas on the homepage are optional, but if you want to replicate the theme's demo, here's a quick look at the widget structure. The homepage welcome message has a single text widget. 
the welcome widgets left has an image widget. And the welcome widgets right has yet another text widget. Now let's look at the other available theme settings. Photo Zoom comes with two color palettes, light and dark. If you decide to switch from one style to another, don't forget that you might want to re-upload your logo image. The structure of a header can use a two columns layout or a centered layout. If you want to use a wide logo or you have many links in your menu, the centered layout might work better for you. You can also control the appearance of featured images inside of posts and pages. If you have any other questions, you can find some useful information on the Themes page in the Appearance section. From here, you can easily access the Themes Community Support Forum on WordPress.org, send a direct message to the developer, or even make a donation. And that's all for today's video. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.